Hi and welcome to Hoxton Therapy. This is a narration of one of our articles. What is sex therapy and counselling? Despite the fact that sexual problems affect the lives of many, very few are open to discuss about it. The portrayal of sex in glamorous ways by the media is not exactly its true picture, and people all over the world suffer from various types of sexual problems. While some of these problems can be fixed easily, there are others that require medical assistance. Psychological sex therapy, as well as counselling, is a medical approach that essentially works to solve help sex related problems that are primarily caused by performance anxiety, stress, depression or intimacy issues among other relationship bias issues. Why sex therapy and counselling is important This therapy aims at getting to the root of the problem. It is not always possible for couples to work on these problems without any assistance because their discussions are frequently obstructed by anger, disappointment, inhibition, hurt, accusations and heated debates. And even if the couples are able to work out the problem soon enough, these issues later on become more complex and difficult to even talk about. There are many who don't opt for sex therapy because they want to wait it out or because they get anxious when it comes to psychosexual counselling. The fear of having to confront the problems or to find out their compatibility with the partner is not strong enough, makes people want to procrastinate their need for assistance, making them feel more and more hopeless with each passing day. What to expect during counselling and therapy? When an individual or a couple is willing to get help through sexual counselling and therapy, the first thing they will be questioned about is their relational or sexual history in private if need be. Other questions that an individual should be prepared to answer during therapy will be related to their parents' marriage, their childhood and what education did they receive about sex both indirectly and directly. This therapy can also include the therapists asking the individual or couple as to how they want to solve their sexual problem. Assignments may also be given during the counselling so that the individual or or couple read or talk about certain things told by the therapist. Treatments offered. Psychological sexual counselling and therapy broadly covers two problems. One is the high frequency of disagreements and the other is low desire for sex in individuals or couples. Men suffering from premature ejaculation or women not having orgasms are among the problems that can be solved without any difficulty. Slow ejaculation and erectile dysfunction are some of the other sexual problems that can be treated through this therapy. Mandatory counselling is required for survivors of prostate cancer and breast cancer. Feelings about whether various sexual acts, oral sexual problems, techniques problems, porn related problems, low arousal, sexual boredom, fetishes and addictions are among the main reasons why one should opt for sex therapy and counselling. In conclusion, sex therapy and counselling can help an individual or a couple to overcome their sexual problem without having to succumb to their partner's demands. Instead of feeling hopeless and wanting to give up on relationship or marriage, it is better to seek out help from a medical professional who knows exactly how to solve the problem at hand. Hi, we hope you enjoyed that narration of one of our articles on our website, hoxtontherapy.com. Um, as usual, we have our podcast, which answers your question, and the name of the podcast is The Ask Hoxton Therapy Show. You can ask us questions on social media, and we will answer those questions in upcoming either video content, and of course, when our video content's done, um, our podcast content audio is done as well. So stay safe out there. It's COVID-19 at the moment. Till next time, goodbye. Never act on any advice given in these articles, videos or audios. Always seek professional help before acting on anything you read or watch or listen to on this website or in our podcast or on our YouTube channel or anywhere on our social media.